hello 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 everybody this is my next video using the swan lake collection y'all are probably get tired of me but you'll have enough videos of cards so you can pick and choose sorry i needed a drink of water okay so this is our next card base and this one, I used the concept cards again to cut this out. What I did was I cut it five by seven like that. It's a five by seven. Then I cut this out and then I scored here. So this is a, oh wait, this, this piece. I think we'll go here like this. This piece will go here like that. Actually, this goes, I think, like this. It's upside down. Yes, it's upside down. There we go. I'm about to say it's upside down, y'all. Okay, so this piece, um, I was going to make this a gatefold like this, and then I decided not to. And so um, I'm going to just take this piece here, and I stamped stamped and i'm going to take this piece and instead of making it that gate fold only because um i want this to be right here i wanted this piece to go here okay and then i'm going to take one of my tri blends and I'm going to color in these. And I'm going to color in. And I'm not even doing anything special. You know, blending or none of that kind of stuff. I just wanted to color them in just to give the inside of the card something. Okay. And all I'm doing is just touching those leaves. Okay. I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to shoop, shoop, shoop to our water. go all the way down there we go just something it's not even nothing really okay and then i cut out the concept because of the leaves to kind of go with that and then this is going to get matte and layered here okay um with our little lady dancing And this is, uh, I wanted this to be even. Okay, I want that to be like that. And this is going to go like this, okay? So this is gonna be popped up. And then my Swan Lake, I just stamped my Swan Lake on here and I, corner rounded it and I put a little bit of shading and I want to cover up this side I want this side to be showing I corner round this piece also okay so this is going to be a uh hot -huh, not upside down but like that and then our little moon moon is gonna go right here and our little I love this little thing it's gonna go right there okay so in order to get this the way I want it do I need to yeah I need to put this on first I need to put this on first so I'm putting this right here. And then I'm taking these pop dots. 
to pop her up. Okay, and I'm only putting those it that far for a minute, okay? Because I have to show you what I'm gonna do because I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get it in here straight. So this is gonna slide in there once I get her situated in here, on here, okay? So I want this to slide in here. Nope, too high. See, like that. And so I wasn't sure if I had to take it from the top or not. And let me. Oh, I put them on there. I just need to put it one right here. Yeah. I need to pull that out of there. But see, I wasn't sure. But I wanted that. See that? And then I have my little bitty bow. And I need to cut these trim off my bow legs and put some glossy accent right here y'all see how quickly these cards come together they only come together this quickly because I pre-prepped all of the pieces and i think that's the biggest key to it all that in order to get and see that that turned out super cute the key to getting this all done and having some cards you know if you want to craft is kind of pre-planning some of the steps that you want to make okay so that is card number i don't know one yeah that must be card number one okay so let's put this over here we have this card. And you can see I, I did a lot of prepping. I did a lot of prepping. This took me three days, I think, to prep all of this stuff. Okay, <laughs> what's going on with this one? Okay, so this card has a lot going on. And it's because it's going to fit like this. And you'll open it like that okay so let's get the mat and layers going so that everything can be on here okay so did i want the swan i must have wanted the swan to be showing because this this piece where is this piece this piece okay that goes there this piece goes here. I know this. I know this goes here. So I didn't want this one to be showing because it's cut backwards. Okay. So this piece goes here. cut this piece this piece is not cut right we're not gonna worry about that yet we're gonna mat and layer all these pieces so one thing about this this is not paper from the kit because i was trying to experiment with some different ones so this is not the paper from the kit okay goes here I know this goes like this where the heck does that piece go this one is matted on here okay. this piece is matted on here this piece uh oh 
is this matte layer right there. Maybe you should have instructions when you do stuff like this. Because boy, oh boy, oh boy, this piece goes here. And this piece get matted on here. Now, that gets put right there. Okay, so let's mat this. <laughs> Just mat this piece right there. Super cute. <clears throat> this, this piece, because this piece gets matted down here, because this opens up like this. So this piece goes there. Did I add an extra piece in here by accident? I must have, because that piece doesn't go anywhere. This piece goes right on here. And that goes there. And then this piece This piece goes here. This piece goes right here because I wanted this card to be a double fold card with in here. <laughs> yeah, you know, we may not end up making all these cards because I'm running out of tape. Did I just break that? Oh no, no. I'm not running out of tape yet. I got a bunch of them. Voila. Okay, so this right here, because I stamped this on purpose in there so that I can put this right here. And it has a design on the inside. So that goes right there. And then the card opens like that. See? And you get the right right here or right right here. Did this part go right there? No. This must be some extra. I must have put this in by accident. Because that don't fit here. Okay? And then we have the peoples. The peoples go right here. And our moon is going to go here. Okay? So we're going to put the peoples. We're going to put the peoples right here. Because I want some of this gold to show. And then we're going to put our moon. Right. Duh. There. <laughs> and then it opens like this. So when you open it, you see the... Then the... And then you get the right on either side. See how quick these cards are? Loving it. And that's the card. How many is that? Two. Okay, let's work on our next one. This is a... What card? An easel, maybe? No. Okay, first thing I know is these two pieces matte layer. So let's do that now. Before we even break into. And this is another one of the papers that was not in the kit. This was a paper that I had already. From that same texture kit. I want to say it's a crafter's companion one too. Um, yep, this is an easel card. Yes, it's a six by six easel. Okay, so we're going to take this. And I think I did this because I wanted to show you that you could use a regular, um, a regular card base and a special card base. So that's why these two easels, but they probably, I made them at two different times, but that is the easel card. See that? So you don't need a special die or anything to make this easel. It'll stand up as soon as I put the thingy in there. Okay, so I'm going to just lay that down. And then 
I'm going to I'll put this one here just like that and then I only did half this because I thought this would be really cute to put that right there so that's why it only has the one side of the um the one side of the um church and this sheet of paper is the other half of that church so this goes right here so when you're cutting up your paper you don't have to worry about um not be able to use all of it because it just looks like a castle up there and this looks like the castle down there. Okay? And then I did this just for you. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this and I'm going to mat this right on here. And then I'm going to take the two of them and I'm going to mat this on here. A little bit better matting, please. right like that <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my pop dots pop that up put that to the side and then I cut out my little duckies and for the ducks I don't know if you can tell that but I used gray and I went across here and I went across there to just give it a shadowy look I don't know if you can see that I won't know how well you can see that until I review these videos. Because I'm actually videotaping these on my phone as opposed to my camera. Okay. And I don't have a piece of paper down because I'm taping on the table. Okay, so I'm giving these a little bit more stiffness like that. And then I'm going to pop these up. One of there and one of there. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And then I'm going to use one for the head here and one for the head there take this off and I'm going to put my swanee right there and I'm going to put my swanee right there and my words is going to be what is popping it up and so we're going to just put this here And that is what is popping it up. And this is so crooked. <laughs> Me and my laying down of these um of these uh these there we go. That's better. Okay. And I'm just matching that up. And that's going to keep our easel up. Super cute. Loving that easel card. Super quick, fast, and in a hurry. When you need a quick card, just make you a quick easel card. All right, so that was my three cards for this session. So I will be back with my next video. See you in the next one. You know, it's not cutting off because my phone is saying low battery. There we go. No.